Hey everyone, I'm Mark Sargent and this is Flat Earth Q&A emails number 143 where you send me your Flat Earth questions to msargent23 at comcast.net that's M-S-A-R-G-E-N-T 23 at comcast.net and I will do my best to answer them so let's get right to it first one is called Port Santo Photos Dear Mark, been following you from your first video please see attached, I'd like your thoughts uh, please, many thanks, Anthony. Uh, it's some long distance photography that he was shooting, which is very interesting because I was just editing uh, the rough draft of my book and I was going through the long distance uh, photography section. So I will take a look at that. I'll put that in my to do pile and get back to him as soon as I can. But I'm going to be doing some editing this afternoon, so we'll see. But I'll get to it. This one's called New Researcher Specific Question. Hello, Mark. Thoroughly enjoying your channel, already viewed all the Clues playlist, much like yourself. This was the last conspiracy I wanted to research. I didn't want to buy it, even though I know there is way too much evidence to prove that we never went to the moon. I just had a difficult time wrapping my head around it, as you described. Now, much like the faked moon landings, I'm starting to wake up to the Flat Earth as well. I am looking for something to be addressed specifically from a Flat Earth perspective and was wondering if you could point me to an episode or episodes dealing with it and answering the ET aliens factor in all of this. There is way too much evidence to support their existence, but under the supposition of living in an enclosed dome, that raises all sorts of new questions for me. There are a ton of videos on your channel, and I'm learning a lot. However, I was just wondering if you could point me in the right direction of the videos that specifically address aliens in this Earth model. Thanks in advance, and that's from Jen. Uh, okay, that, that's really... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that one as well, because I'm going to write her back and say, you know, there really aren't a lot of videos that talk about the question of aliens, but I've addressed it all sorts of times, and I don't think I've any made any videos directly tied to it. By that, I mean, okay, so my opinion is this, which is, I don't think, do I think there's things flying up uh, in there in advance sort of uh, vehicles? Yes, using some sort of unified field engine or whatever you want to call it. Yes, I do. Because uh, do, I've seen them. I mean, seriously, you can get a pair of night vision binoculars, hopefully in a five power or better, and just start watching the sky and you will see some really amazing stuff. It's It's almost like they live. But do I think they are from Saturn or Venus or Mars or Jupiter? No, no, none, none of that. I think they are older versions of us. I, you've heard me say it many times. I think we're, we aren't the first people to rent this apartment. And I think the older civilizations, there have been some survivors over the millennia. So, yeah. That, that's my my take on it and uh they're they're either, the, the bigger question is are they trapped in here with us or are they do they have the ability to come from other places and get in here because uh, i also don't think this is a one-off that's that's the big question and I honestly don't know we're gonna have to ask them when they show up hopefully next year uh let's see this one's called hey <laughs> seriously hey uh hey mark i'm from serbia I uh, like watching flat earth videos, but first I need to say my English is kind of bad. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna do this for the rest of the sentences. But, and I hope you will understand, I was thinking something last night about the moon. They say moon have own gravity, lower than earth gravity, but still have it. How is that possible And moon never spin? <laughs> uh... I distracted myself with my terrible accent. Uh, they say moon has own gravity lower than earth gravity, but still has, has it. How is that possible? How does moon have its own gravity? Well, if you believe in density has its own gravity, then why wouldn't the moon have its own gravity? And they are tying that to the tides, which of course is absolutely wrong if in the flat earth model, because the, the moon would be less than 50 miles wide, not 2000 miles wide. So how is it possible that the moon never spins? Okay. It's not that it never spins. It it locks in perfectly to our rotation. Yeah, I'm going to screw this up. I'm going to butcher it. I'm not going to look it up though for the reference. And so it's perfectly matching our rotation with the face that's that we always see. Does that kind of help? Kind of? So we only see one face of the moon, which is again, super weird and statistically impossible uh, that it doesn't change even a quarter of degree in 50 years or a hundred years or ever, it's perfectly locked in. I'm not going to say it's lazy programming. You know, God's a great programmer. Uh, but in this case, I think it was a breadcrumb. So I, 
other than that, I can't I can't tell you. In the world of physics, I can only go so far. Moving on. This one's called Watch What If Earth Is Actually Flat on YouTube. Uh, Mark, I thought it was crazy. This channel put out a few videos. This channel has 6 million subs. Yep, I'm going to click on it. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Uh, yes, this one was from yeah June 4th, 2019. It's from Be Amazed. And <clears throat> it's got 6.1 million subs. And the reason why all these giant channels are covering Flat Earth is because it's still trending. Again, there's a reason why YouTube has to take its foot off the gas and not recommend us as much because they don't have to recommend us as much. The giant channels are already making big Flat Earth videos, which of course is going to be interesting because if YouTube ever decides to ban Flat Earth videos, all these giant channels, including major networks, have already covered it. So at that point, what are you going to do? Are you going to ban pro Flat Earth videos but keep anti Flat Earth videos? I don't think you can. I don't think you can do it. And there's no algorithm that's going to be able to, I can't think of an algorithm that would, that has a guarantee of, of covering what exactly you want to do there. So yeah, so ha having Be Amazed, hey, great. You know, if this would have come out, if you would have come out or whatever channel came out uh, three years ago and, and done something on us, I would have been like, wow, great, you know, wave the flag. But honestly, we've had so many giant channels talk. It's like, oh yeah, 6.1 million, just throw it on the pile. I mean, Naga Haiga did another thing where they referenced us. They actually even mentioned they watched uh, the documentary Behind the Curve, and it intrigued them. And they're they're way bigger. So, we've got, heck, we got bigger people than that trolling us now. But thank you for sending it. And seriously, anyone that sends me links, by all means, you know, I'm, I'm not going to shoot you down. Uh, just know that sometimes I get to them before you do, sometimes. All right, so this one's called The Setting Sun. Mark, I know I'm in the minority, but I first got enthralled by the flatter theory when I watched Behind the Curve. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you know, there were, I remember, it, Behind the Curve only hit Netflix a few, well, back in uh, six months ago now. Wow, time flies. Uh, but most of the people in the Flatter community got in before that. At least I think they did. Hard to say nowadays. Uh, let's see, it continues on. Anyway, my question revolves around the sun. Specifically, why are the clouds lit from the bottom only when the sun sets and rises? According to the Flat Earth model. Although I'm a glober, I really enjoy this topic and I'm bummed that there aren't any good debates on the subject. Thank you, sir, from Jay. Okay, first off, I, degree, I disagree. I think there's some great debates on the subject. All you have to do is type in Flat Earth Debate. In YouTube, you gotta remember nowadays, guys. In the search engines, just be specific. It's it's no different than Siri. The same technology that Siri works off of is for just about every search engine as well. That is, you can just ask ask a question. Be specific. It's not like the old days where you had to type in really detailed or or really specific things on on a search engine. So just type in flat Earth debates. Well, it'll come up as far as the clouds being lit from the bottom uh and by the way that is that is one of the things like the director of the movie behind the curve is really really stuck on uh to him i say and everybody else i say look light is not what you think it is and the properties of light isn't what you, what you think it is i think it is a it is a <coughs> excuse me a combination of optics and oh sorry hang on one second sorry was something stuck in my throat uh, it's a combination of op optics and the atmosphere and atmospheric lensing and a breadcrumb that's being thrown at us by the, the, the person or persons that created this place. Remember, uh, it, even though I'm a big believer in God, the, the question is, did God build this place or did God subcontract out the work? Personally, I would have subcontracted it because if I was God, I'd be pretty busy. This one's called The Power of the Great Magician. All right, let's get to it. This one's a little bit longer. Hi, Mark. Meet Suit Bruce again. Thanks for all you do. I just want to drop a line to express my beliefs and hope I inspire others to explore free thought in this important in Denver and in Denver endeavor and pursuit of the truth. First, I would like to give God the glory for putting you as our most totally awesome freshman recruiter for Flat Earth University. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to update my previously stated theory of the sonoluminescent rotating reflective ice dome. As I stated before, I believe the EM torrid field surrounding the Earth is not only reasonable for the formation of the saltwater ice dome enclosure by means of, holy smokes, <coughs> isothermal 
thermal magnetization, but also for the rotation that expresses the movement of everything we see in the sky from the stars at night to the sun or the moon that seems to appear from us. I say that it seems to appear because they truly only present as reflective light properties from multiple energy and light sources and reactions due to the curved surface and elemental effects involved. I titled the message as I did to convey the mastery of the ultimate smoke and mirror illusion of this cosmic time piece design. Hmm. It is truly a masterpiece of the creator of all, including the creatures of his own image. Now to the added point. Don't try to bend the moon. That's impossible. Ah, I see what you did there. Instead, only try to realize the truth. There is no moon. Uh, movie reference for you guys out there. Uh, then you'll find it's not the moon that shines in the sky, but the light bouncing off the center ice nod nodule reflected off the ice dome that forms it. So many questions are understood when one can look past the imaginations they have made it to be and see the fact of the refracted reflection it is this is a simple thing to confirm the phases of the moon show how the light begins from one edge to the other in its full monthly cycle it may be hard to accept at first so try to see it from the perspective of our own reflection of your face in a shiny or mirrored spoon or inside a domed mirror your reflection is drastically minimized reversed and slightly distorted around the edges yeah good point Another, tell us how the moon rotates clockwise in the night sky as it passes east to west as the dome rotates counterclockwise, matching the reflection of moon light, or is that mooching? Mooching the reflection of moonlight? I have never seen a word mooching ever used in an email to me. That's really weird. At a slightly slower pace than the doom, I'm sorry, the, the dome. <laughs> he spelled it doom, that's funny. Because of the pace of light bouncing off the center nodule. Uh, he ends it with this. It's all energy discharge, plasma wave energy conversion effect, and the EM field into the laser focal point of light refracted and also reflect it off the dome onto the ice nodule to illuminate it all. Wow. It's pretty good. I like it. This one's called Weird Beam out of Nevada Test Range. Uh, hi, Mark. Uh, Jockum. Jokum. Jockum from Texas again. While listening to your strange world, I saw this strange thing going on in Nevada. I wish I knew how to make a loop. Watched the radar for many minutes after, but nothing else happened. Also, totally enjoyed your debate on the fallen state. Thank you very much for that. And I should click on view and take a quick look. He sent me a, a thing on the radar image, and it seems that the uh, the Doppler radar started glitching out at about 40 seconds in. Not, not sure. Yeah, I'll stare at it a few more times. It's very interesting, though. So thank you for that. This one's called Gravity. Hi, Mark. I am writing in response to your examples given to my email in Q&A emails 142. Long before the theory of gravity was a glimmer in Newton's imagination, the natural physics of density and buoyancy already explained why apples fall down. Quite simply, objects fall or rise based on the relative density of the medium surrounding them. Apples fall because they are denser than the medium surrounding them. Helium balloons rise because they are higher. It's all pretty basic stuff. The error that I made was to use skydiving as an example. <laughs> I introduced a mechanical means of acceleration as you are moving when you exit an aircraft. The only way I could use any statistics would be to jump from a hovering helicopter. Your examples used were in a moving car and a jet fighter. You could have even used a train as an example. Yes, I could have. Uh, but I was going for G-forces. Uh, by introducing the mechanical means of acceleration, you have changed the conditions of the media of, of interaction. I will quote Newton himself. It is conceivable that inanimate matter sh could, should, without the mediation of something else, which is not material, operate upon and affect other matter without mutual contact, as it must do if gravitation, in the sense of epictinus, epicurus, epicurus, be essential and inherent in it. And this is one reason why I desired you would not ascribe innate gravity to me. The gravity should be innate, inherent, and essential to matter so that one body may act upon another at a distance through a vacuum without the mediation of anything else by and through which their action and force may be conveyed from one to another. It is to me so great an absurdity that I believe no man who has in philosophical matters a competent faculty of thinking can never fall into it. Gravity must be caused by an agent acting constantly according to certain laws. When assessing relative density and buoyancy, you cannot ascribe the sensation of gravity as it is achieved through changing the condition of the medium by mechanical means. 
Keep up the great work you do, Greg Thomas Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Thank you, Gregory. Good, good to know. Food for thought. Moving on. This one's called Episode with Retired U.S. Air Force Navigator. Mark, the episode has an error in it at 1 hour 17 minutes 56 seconds. It makes a hiss sound and returns to the beginning. Thought you'd like to know. Chris Huntley. I will absolutely take a look at that. And it's possible that uh, you know, True Frequency Radio is not immune to bugs, as anyone who listens to the show knows. I don't know if I have a backup of that one. Uh, but I will look. I will go on and and see if it's not corrupted. And uh, oh, maybe it's YouTube error. But I but I will take a look. Thank you. This one's called Watch Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Opening Day at Disneyland Countdown Celebration and Crowds First Group in on YouTube. Hi Mark, I find this video. That's the name of the video on on YouTube. I find this video quite interesting, so I am sending it. To you to you to be dissected. I know you're a big fan of everything tech, fantasy movies, and all science fiction in general, which I am always puzzled by since you are in the business of demonstrating that all these creations are the most absurd mind control exhibits society has ever created. Uh, and, and I'm going to address this point by point. Uh, yeah, that's, that is my point though. They are the most absurd mind control exploits ever created, but we demand them. We want them. In fact, uh, in the book I'm writing, uh, I, I talk about how we have an insatiable appetite to be entertained. And we, the, the producers of media, the, the corporations that we have built are striving extremely hard to create a, a virtual reality that is undetectable from the real thing. So, you know, to where I claim, it's like, okay, how, how do we know we're not already in one? But that's a whole other topic for another time. So, you know, the parks and everything that we do, it's it's because of our, our we want to be entertained. We don't want to learn. We, human beings, just, that is burned into us. We hate being bored. And that's why they create them. Anyway, so continuing on with this thing. The opening of this theme park, and not only the amount of attendance, but who is attending, shows me exactly why we are condemned to oblivion as a society and why no wonder FE and the FML cannot gain any traction with our fellow citizens well as well nothing else we know is fake. If there are so many adult morons that can be brainwashed into first going there to form lines and spending hundreds of dollars to visit what? A film set made out of cardboard and crap to revisit a freaking fake made believe movie experience and even spend their hard-earned money buying garbage toy souvenirs made in China. Come on. These are adults. Where the F did we go wrong? Well, oh, it's our civilization. What can I tell you? For better or for worse. Anyway, watch it and please analyze what is wrong with this whole scenario. Even you have to agree something is wrong with this generation of retrograde millennials that can offer without resistance the content of their brains to be possessed by their manipulators. Masterminds indoctrinated by a Nazi lover creator of a mouse. And it's true. Well, Disney was a Nazi sympathizer, but I can remember there was a lot of um, uh, German immigrants, the, even in the 1800s. My, my family, for one, uh, settled up in uh, Wisconsin. I mean, there was a lot of German people there to where even just before World War II really broke out, uh, Nazi Germany, you know, took out ads in, in United States newspapers and said, Hey, look, anyone wants to come back over to Europe, fight for the fatherland. So, uh, you know, I did go to Disneyland once in a trip from overseas when the ticket was 10 to $20. And I think since then, obviously I never went again, even though I lived an hour away, but I lost as an adult, all interest in cartoons, make believe and any other created or manufactured garbage. I understand uh, was being peddled to make everyone addicted to consumerism and enslaved to the will of the masters of this great American and now world obsession. So do you think there is something wrong with me for not waking up at 4 a.m. To, uh, to go and stand in line for hours to have the privilege of participation in this nonsense? Sometimes I really think there is and I should go to therapy and spend the money I saved on my entrance tickets in a good uh, in a good psychiatrist hope you don't think i'm a weird guy to look at this really and may the force be with you thanks uh yeah hey, look there are a lot of people that are kind of sleepwalking through the world no question that's why you know the term sheeple 
is out there. There's a lot of you. You have any doubts? And I don't even really have to look at the Star Wars Galaxy thing. I will take a, a quick glance at it. But it is. Uh, look at Black Friday. And Black Friday is everywhere. In every town you can think of, there is a Black Friday. People get up at freaking 3 a.m. Well, nowadays, it's not even Black Friday starts like the night before, like at midnight. You know, it's it's ridiculous. And people line up because they're they're told consumerism. They're told to buy things. And so, uh, look, I, I totally appreciate you, you know, speaking your mind on this. I'm not going to condemn you for it. I, I understand your frustration. But it is the world that we live in. We're trying. We're, we're trying to wake people up. We'll get there. I have, I have high hopes. This one's called Flat Earth Song. Hi, Mark. This is a great song. Give it a listen when you have the time. It's by K. Rhino. It's called Flat vs. Globe. Just my opinion. It's the best I've heard. Stay flat. That's from James Goodson, if I'm not mistaken. He was one of my subject matter experts. One of the planar surveyors. And he didn't send a link. Which, you know, I gotta say... It's a rookie mistake and you hate to see it, but truth is, we all forget attachments on our emails even now. I mean, emails, attachments have been the first thing. You know what? I'm really surprised. That if, if I had to go back in time, this would probably save a lot of a trouble. I would have everybody in their operating system, their email system, pop up a little box. I know it would get annoying. It's like, did you forget to send any attachments? I know it sounds simple and it probably too silly to, to add, but, uh, and people would probably just turn off that notice after a while, but then that he probably ended up turning it back on after forgetting the attachments two or three times. Okay. This one's called, uh, regarding wow guild salt and sea with IGF June 2nd, 2019. Hi, Mark. I have inside info, the IGF balloon footage explanation. I was there because they informed me that Nathan was up at the bench area, REI, REC side observation and the balloons were on the other road on the Capri road. So their claim is that they should, that they should be visible due to both are above the bulge. Uh-huh. Uh, specs for the salt sea, blah, blah, blah. Right. Jaren is a Mike boy, Gabriel, Sasha, snack, Jai, Sydney, silver, the French news team. Oh yeah. The people that were all there. Uh, those are all great people, by the way, uh, except for the IGF team, they can get bent. Uh, does IGF get paid to say NASA is legit? Spencer defends everything NASA. Jim Underdown has no interest in space or conspiracies. He, so basically, you're just wasting energy presenting our mountains of circumstantial evidence to these guys. Uh, my Warcraft account has timed out. And yes, I'm waiting for WoW Vanilla. Current WoW is okay. Uh, a bit too easy. Yeah, well, I'm not going back to Vanilla anytime soon. So, And by the way, if anybody wants to, if anyone still plays Warcraft, uh, the latest expansion, I, I, we, I'm now in a guild. I'm the guild master of a, of a group called Flat Earth. It's the only Flat Earth guild as far as I know. So if you're interested, all you have to do, it's on the Stone Mall server. You'd have to transfer over there. Uh, but just send me an email, tell me what your character name is, and I will invite you and set you up. We can twink everybody out. We're a, a fairly wealthy guild. All right, moving on. This one's called New Models. Da, da, da. Hi, Mark. I survived. This is from Chris Pontius, by the way. I survived, survived the trip to Las Vegas. He's talking about the conference he went there. Uh, the best part was seeing my friends. When I told my story, I was sure to mention how important your Flat Earth clues were to me and all the support you have given me and others. I was never able to find out why Mad Mike wants to expose you. That sounded crazy to me. The conference was not very organized or promoted. Robbie is good at what he does as long as he doesn't do surprises. Ha ha. Uh, the next one will be here in Dallas and I'm sure it'll be better. I'm over the hump now speaking to a group of people. So next time I won't be so nervous. I've come a long way since I called in <clears throat> Excuse me, your show the first time a few years ago. The van ran great, and it got a lot of attention on the road. After I get dozens of models made, I may have some time and funds to do the Flatstream Mobile Emporium and have it ready for the November show. We'll see. I posted two Organite models and just sold one already. They are really cool. When I have one with a clock, then it does three things at once. Crazy, huh? I also posted some info about Organite on my site if you want to know more about it. Love the secret show and all you do. See you in, in you know, November, Chris Pontius. And he sent me a shot of, of one of his Organite models. And 
the shot of his van, the the green and blue flat earth van with a big sign on the top saying the earth is flat and it's got some, you know, great bay window with some cool stuff inside it. So I'm excited to see that in Dallas. Really happy for Chris and all his success. You know, he's done a bang up business ever since the documentary Behind the Curve came out. And I'm, I'm very, very happy for him. Glad I could help in any way. This one's called, this might be something. Mark, screenshot of the page. Look at the story below. Thanks, Rob, on the behalf of Paul on the plane. It's an article from The Independent in the UK. And I should probably read a little bit of it if I can get it to pop up here. Which is about... Uh, I don't want to see the video. No, no. Ugh. I... And, and then I turn, I turn the volume off and it turns it right back on immediately. So you can go to hell. I don't want to see this. So the title is, by the way, uh, YouTube to delete thousands of accounts after it bans su supremacists, conspiracy theorists, and other harmful users. Now, I, should I read the first part? How much can I read of this thing? Uh, it's not very long. Let me read it real fast. So this, this is kind of an official thing for you guys. So YouTube will delete thousands of accounts after banning supremacists, conspiracy theorists, and other harmful accounts, it has claimed. Uh, the decision, now I, I've got to clarify right off the bat, that the only, yes, they're going after hate speech. This is nothing new for YouTube. They, they've always gone after hate speech. And, and if you're a white supremacist, you're going to get banned. Uh, the decision was made after an in-depth review of its rules on hateful content. There we go. YouTube said, well, it has always banned hate content in general. Like I always said, uh, the site has allowed some specific kinds of harmful videos, such as those promoting Nazi ideology or claiming 911 did not happen. I'm sorry, 911 did not happen to continue being hosted on the site. Now, yeah, I know because 911 is an American conspiracy they are going to, uh, and, and YouTube is an American company, they are going to focus on it. I, I know that, but it's a little late. Come on. Um, uh, the movie Loose Change has been out now for 20 years. So uh, talk about closing the, the barn door after everybody got out. Um, those videos, as well as other kind of supremacist content, will now be officially banned. Today, and this is a quote from them, Today we're taking another step in our hate speech policy by specifically prohibiting videos alleging that a group is superior in order to justify discrimination, segregation, and or exclusion based on qualities like age, gender, age, caste. I should probably look up caste. Caste? Uh, religion, sexual orientation, or veteran status. Really? Um... It wrote in a blog post that is expected to lead to the removal of thousands of accounts as it goes into place, though that could take some time. Yeah, we will begin enforcing this updated policy today. However, it will take some time for our systems to fully ramp up and we'll be gradually expanding coverage over the next months. Okay. It did not give any specific examples of accounts that would be removed. No, you definitely don't want to telegraph this, this sort of activity. Uh, it noted that some of those accounts are useful to researchers and said it would try to work on ways of making sure they stay available. It also said the change would not affect videos that are discussing pending legislation aimed to condemn or expose hate or provide analysis of current events. It will also alter its algorithm in an attempt to stop certain kinds of misleading and harmful videos, such as those promoting fake miracle cures or the flat earth hoax. Uh, will stop being recommended in YouTube's up next sidebar. Now, I've got I've to be really clear on this. They've said this months ago, which was, okay, we're not going to recommend flat earth as much. Which, again, I, I do not have really a problem with because they recommended us overly for the last three years. I mean, we were getting recommended in situations which just shouldn't have been there. And it's all over the place now. And to, to be perfectly blunt, now that we have made it to just about all the tiers of, of media, they can do what they want. It's, it's too late. It's already, it's already everywhere. So don't don't sweat it too much. Now, if YouTube channels start getting you know backhanded into the ground, that's another thing. But that's going to be tough to do because if you go after flat Earth, if you ban channels, I mean, got to remember they're not even really demonetizing flat Earth uh, channels directly for flat Earth. They're demonetizing uh, flat Earth channels that, that delve into other things. I'm not going to pick on on Red Pill philosophy, uh, but come on, he's been an instigator for a while now. Not in a bad way. I love what he does. But he, uh, he, I, he, I think he pushed too many, too many buttons. So anyway, um, it will also encourage more authoritative videos to try and discourage people from being tricked 
by those stories. Now, of course, that's the journalist's interpretation of that. YouTube would never say the word tricked. It has already tr trialed the system to do this in the U.S. and it sound, said it has found success. It will bring it to more countries by the end of the year, it said, as well as tuning the algorithms so that it is more efficient and spot more content. Uh, it also said it would work harder to stop YouTube users promoting harmful content from receiving ad money, the, otherwise known as demonetization. Channels that repeatedly brush up against its hate speech policies will be suspended from the company's partner program. The openness of YouTube's platform has helped creativity and access to, uh, infor and access to information thrive. I don't know if that's good grammar. Uh, probably left out a few words there. It's blog post concluded. It's our responsibility to protect that and prevent our platform from being used to incite hatred, harassment, discrimination, and violence. We are committed to taking the steps needed to live up to this responsibility today and tomorrow and the years to come. The change comes on the same day as the company said it would not remove videos in which one of its stars attacked another user over his sexuality using a series of anti-gay slurs. Yeah, see, they, they got a, they're writing a fine line here. Uh, let's see, it's, there's not much left. Strangely, the company now explicitly bans videos that encourage discrimination or segregation based on sexuality, but made no reference to that high profile case in its blog post and did not say that it would change its position. YouTube has been repeatedly criticized for its relatively lax approach towards various kinds of harmful content, including those in the far right. That criticism became even more prominent in the wake of the Christchurch shooting when it and other video sites failed to quickly remove videos of the mass murder. Eh, I don't know if I could blame YouTube on that one. I mean, every, that, that got out there so fast that before they knew what hit them, it was everywhere. As such, the site has been repeatedly accused of not only permitting, but also encouraging extremism by playing host to often violent and niche accounts. But right-wing channels also make up a significant part of YouTube channels and their viewers. Earlier this year, Bloomberg reported that far-right videos were one of the site's most popular categories. Dun, dun, dun. Money talks. If you ever wonder, you want to boil down an argument, and I'm stealing this from Vanilla Sky, nine out of ten problems in the world revolve around money. Money talks, period. Uh, YouTube, Flat Earth could have been destroyed years ago by YouTube. Could have been just wiped out. You know, they didn't have to, rem to recommend it to anybody, but we make YouTube a whole bunch of money. Uh, the, the algorithm that the, one of the YouTube developers, when he came out, they were asking him, again, out of all the topics, thousands of topics on YouTube, and they asked him, hey, how do things get recommended on the sidebar? And out of all the topics, he said this one topic. He said, well, if the average flat earther, when they get into it, watches 20 vid videos in a row, what do you think we're going to recommend? That said it all for me. I mean, he knew, and, and that's why all these giant channels, anyone that looks into the, the metrics, they see Flat Earth that comes up time and time again. Uh, the article ends with this. The decision also comes amid increasing scrutiny from conservative politicians about whether YouTube has a bias against right-wing creators. There you go. As with Twitter and Facebook, the company has been criticized for undermining free speech and being unfair towards its conservative users, despite the fact there is no evidence of those accounts being discriminated against. Take that for what it's worth. And thank you, uh, Rob, for sending it to me. All right, let's get through as many as we can here. This one's called Flat Earth People Finder. Hi, Mark. Can you stop by ZoomTruth.com and add the upcoming events that you mentioned recently on one of our on one of your latest videos? Thanks, Flathead Politics. Uh, I will try. I will try. They're out there, though. I mean, it shouldn't be hard. The the Flat Earth... Uh, you know what? I will. I will. I'll just do it. I felt like Ferris Bueller's friend. I'll do it. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. You keep calling me. Uh, this one's called YouTube. Jeff Grupp on Coast to Coast AM, June 2nd, discussing new book, God Faith, Discovering the Pure Logic Built into the Fabric of Reality. Yep. Uh, Jeff Grupp has a new book. And uh, let's see here. Let me read real quick. If you'd like to hear the Coast to Coast AM show from the other night... Uh, click on this link. In fact, I will if I get a chance. Uh, sorry, Jeff, I, I've been so busy. Uh, he says, my new book has multiple brand new proofs for the existence of a Christian God, showing that his signature is built into the fabric of reality. For some reason, these logical proofs have not been noticed hitherto. <laughs> I love Jeff Grubb. My book also contains new information, shows that the philosophy of atheism is a contradiction. Here is a link to my new atheism page. All right, that's in my to-do pile today. 
I'll have to listen to that while I'm doing some book editing. This one's called YouTube Policy Updates. And uh, this is kind of a, you know, this, this is a different thing. So I'll read it real quick. Uh, this is what YouTube released on some forum. They said, uh, regarding borderline content and raising up authoritative voices, in addition to removing videos that violate our policies, we also want to reduce the spread of content that comes right up to the line. In January, we piloted an update of our systems in the United States to limit recommendations of borderline content and harmful misinformation, such as videos promoting a phony miracle cure for a serious Ill illness, followed immediately by, or claiming the earth is flat. <laughs> we're looking to bring this updated system but in fact 9-11 is not even mentioned in here on that one uh, so snake oil flat earth wow uh, i was surprised honestly I'm surprised they didn't go into vaccinations or flat earth but whatever uh i think that's a little touchy for them because if a parent posts something on vaccinations uh, and you're going to shut down that parent boy you're going to ruffle a lot of feathers we're looking to bring this updated system to more countries by the end of 2019 thanks to this change the number of views this type of content gets from recommendations has dropped by over 50 percent in the u.s well yeah if you don't recommend it uh, our systems are also getting smar smarter about what types of videos should get this treatment and we'll be able to apply it to even more borderline videos moving forward. As we do this, we'll also start raising up more authoritative content and recommendations. Building on to the changes we made to news last year, for example, if a user is watching a video that comes close to violating our policies, our systems may include more videos from authoritative sources like top news channels in the Watch Next panel. Yeah, sure. I can understand that. YouTube's in a tough spot. They, and again, I'm not really defending them. I'm just saying, look, if you had the biggest television in the network in the world, and it's made up mostly of average people that are out there, you've got a big job on your hands and they're trying to, and, and of course we're now in the year, you know, 2019 of hashtag everything offends everybody. That's really changed everything for you. Back in the back in the day, I mean, YouTube, as you know, you can you could do just about anything on YouTube because it was just all fair game. But now, hypersensitivity rules the day, and they they have to adjust accordingly. You would too. This one's called "How's This for a Load of BS." Uh, hi, Mark. Hope you're well. Hoping the YouTube purge doesn't hit you and Patricia. Go dogs. Yep, it's another article on what's happening out in YouTube. There's a lot of people that are that are really worried about YouTube right now. Content makers. Uh, the adpocalypse was one thing, but trying to turn YouTube into a Disney-esque place or like, you remember, if, if you're old enough to remember America Online back in the day, that was pretty squeaky clean except for the, you know, after dark when you when you'd make chat rooms. But that was other than that, it was very, very um, family friendly. And Disney, of course, is family friendly. Uh, and Google's can't be completely family family friendly because of, of free speech. But they're they're trying. They're trying to take steps in that direction. It's again going to be difficult. This one's called Robin did great on this Dublin radio interview. And yep, I listened to it on his channel. He was you know the the Dublin radio. So Dublin ninety eight FM radio interview. Robin from UK. Uh, just passing this on, Robin did great. He he got in so many points or proofs. The host was a reasonable guy. I hope this station has a big audience. Well worth listening to. Just wanted you to see it. The media attention from conference is worth gold. Carolyn. Yep. Thank you, Carolyn, for sending that. Not Caroline, by the way. Carolyn. Carolyn Gutman Day. This one's called No Subject. Mark. Oh, wait, it's a troll email. Yay. I, it's, it's so often, or I, I don't get these very often. So, um, it doesn't even mention me by name. No subject. Get a life, please stop trying to be popular and please stop trying to be smart for advanced smartness. Get a life, go to space, please. And you're stupid for trying to be smart. <laughs> nice. Nice. And here's, here's where it gets weird. Uh, it's from a guy named uh, Fernando Martin. And it's uh, a meth, and he actually has schools listed in his email address. It's it's a method schools, weird, and and there was no punctuation in that whatsoever. Terrible email. I'm sorry if you're gonna troll me, you better you better bring your A game. That was not his A game, as Tiger Woods would say. Tiger Woods recently, of course, had his A game back, which was great. Of course, it also helps that everybody else in the field in the back nine of the last day just collapsed. Like, and the hand of God just squished them. 
Uh, this one's called, please comment on the galaxy clock. Mark, I may call your show on this, so please be versed on it. <laughs> there you go. And it's like, I'm going to call you on this. Okay. So this one's called, and he links me to the STS-75 tether incident, which I'm well aware of on the David Serrata channel, uh, the case for NASA UFOs. So tether incident, the, the case for NASA UFOs. Uh, hey, uh, it is an interesting uh, thing, but what was what was happening in the background? Don't know. Uh, was that footage shot from, you know, inside the firmament? Don't know what they, what they were looking through. I have no idea, but I used to be in love with the tether incident from a long time ago. Very, very interesting. Uh, in fact, why did you link me something? It only has, wait, why did you link me a video from September 10th, 2017? It only has 806 views. Really? I may call you, please comment on the galaxy clock. But you sent me a tether video, man. All right, I, I will wait for your call, and I will I will remember this because the the link does not match the description or the email. Yeah, yeah, give me a little context. Remember, I'm a big fan of of writing. This one's called Google, Facebook, antitrust indictments and lawsuits. Mark, social media giants are being taken to task for being aligned with the deep state and for social engineering once again right under the noses of those who are too busy to notice too distracted by sports and entertainment or simply those who are trying to survive here alternative media sources are being censored demonetized and even taken down for content that is harmful to the status quo narrative examples of this include 9-11 the alleged moon landings vaccine safety and many other issues they want nothing more to control our thoughts speech and actions no critical thinking or research is allowed reminds me of the nazi regime it is well past time to address these subjects but again Far too many are unaware or just apathetic. Apathetic. Remember, fluoride and aspartame, 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 both affect our ability to think clearly and critically, yet both of these neurotoxins have been allowed into our food and water. It's not a big leap to figure out that it's being done by design to dumb down society. Wayne Jet is a new source of truth for me. Please share. Okay. This is aggregate. Actually, they're sent to a bunch of people, not just me. This is called Looking for a Model. Hello, Mark. Love your website. Thanks for providing us with this info. I am sharing it with all my friends and family. In any case, I've been trying to find a model of the flat earth uh, to have in my home as a conversation starter. Can you please tell me where I can purchase one? With blessings and gratitude, Pamela from Louisiana. And yeah, I recommend, as you guys know, well know, I recommend uh, flatearthmodels.com. Done by Chris Pontius. He makes beautiful things. They are not cheap. But if you want a, a cool, lit, fully, pot, you know, LED, wonderful models, uh, check them out on his website. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. And he's been doing them for a while now. And he was in the documentary. If you want to look closer, you can see how he builds them in uh, Behind the Curve, the documentary. This one's called... Uh, nope, nope. That is from a law enforcement agency. And I cannot read that on. I, and nor, I'm, I really can't even really talk about it. Other than it's from a law enforcement agency. But anyone in the inner circles of Flat Earth know what that's about. Uh, let's see. This one's called Blood in a Vacuum Chamber. Does blood actually boil in space? All right. And the link goes to Crazy Reaction of Blood in a Vacuum Chamber. Does blood actually boil in space? Ooh, I don't know if I want to watch this or not. This video will make your blood boil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm saving this one. I am totally saving this one. Yeah, because it's liquid. Uh, any liquid, uh, well, blood is mostly water. Uh, it, it, it boils at room temperature in a vacuum chamber. It's It goes along with the whole... It's a phys physics thing. So, what's why, you, if you've ever heard, if you ever lived in Colorado... If you're baking, not necessarily cooking, but baking, you have to adjust your baking recipes for a high altitude because the boiling temperature of water is um, uh, less as you go higher to where when you get to a vacuum, literally it could be 70 degrees and the water will start boiling. Now, does that mean that it's really, really hot? No, of course not. It's 70 degrees. But the, uh, the atmospheric pressure difference combined with the heat uh, will immediately, you know, start it'll just start turning off into um uh just boiling off all right uh this one's called godzilla new film hey mark from first last australia the new godzilla film mentions hollow earth and while looking for ancient beings from dragons to dinosaurs type reptiles and dragons with multiple heads when searching for them in antarctica ah 
All in the first 41 minutes. Go figure. Truth in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, remember, writers have to pull from somewhere. And the internet, we are we are so integrated with the with the internet right now, which, you know, I am not that worried about YouTube. I mean, yes, YouTube is a, is a massive network. And I will be disappointed if they do that. But at the same time, and I talk about this in the book, where uh, we've, we've jumped that. We've jumped from the internet to now we have become a campfire story. And that is when, when you're alone without computers, you're just sitting next with somebody <clears throat> one-on-one talking in a quiet room or maybe in a, not a quiet room. You can basically talk about Flat Earth without using a computer to do it. They'll have to do the research for themselves, but it's kind of cool. Okay, this one's called Debate Opportunity. Hi, Mark. Hope you are well. I don't know if you got the chance to see, but Nathan Thompson dedicated on my channel last week. Here's the link if you're interested. Uh, I hope you can see from it that my moderation was nothing but fair and completely impartial. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, uh, I, I again ask if you would be interested in a debate on my channel against a Globe Earth YouTuber. Please do let me know if this interests you. Kindest regards, Dan, otherwise known as SimanDan at gmail.com. Okay, first off, if you don't use your full name, I'm not talking to you. Uh, second, because, you know, everyone in Social Blade thinks that Jabot subs, I have a hard time uh, addressing somebody that claims to have six figures in subs when you don't have as that many in subs. Uh, three, you are absolute, you absolutely hate Flat Earth, so being an impartial judge in any sort of debate is ridiculous. And four, I can't think of anybody in the troll community that I would want to debate because they're horrible people. And again, unless you, unless you can find a troll that would actually use his full name, I wouldn't even consider it. But considering you won't use your full name as a moderator, I also wouldn't consider it. So you're screwed. Sorry. Uh, I, I, but hey, you know what? Keep making Flat Earth videos against us. I, I love that. Keep doing it. And if you don't know why, uh, then maybe you shouldn't call yourself a Psyman. Should we end on that one? Psyman Dan one? Or should I do one more? No, let's do a positive one. Forget about ending on Psyman Dan. Screw that guy. Uh, this one's called UK Meetups. Hi, Mark. Love what you do for Flat Earth. Can you point me in the right direction regarding finding info on UK Flat Earth Meetups, please? Uh, yeah, if I had to, to go to one person right now, because she's so incredibly organized and helpful, I would go to Roxanne Glenn, the globalist denier. All you have to do is type in Flat Earth Roxanne or Roxanne Glenn or Roxanne Glenn Flat or whatever it is. Uh, you will find her on there and her email address is on, on the back under the about thing. Just click on view email address and, and you'll get it. Uh, in fact, I could probably give it to you right now since I'm here. UK meetups. Uh, yeah, her email address, just for anybody who wants to know what's happening in the UK meetups, because I know this because I'm, I'm doing her conference in the UK in the fall and I'm doing some street activism. It's called Operation Realness. That's Operation R-E-A-L-N-E-S-S -S at yahoo.com. So that said, I got some editing to do. Enough of this stuff. But thank you, thank you for everybody that wrote in. It's very much appreciated, and you can send your emails in the future to msargent23 at comcast.net. That's M-S-A-R-G-E-N-T 23 at comcast.net. Until next time, guys, stay flat.